Hello everybody, this is SoyChinchow.com and today we're taking a look at the Nokia XL. So this is the first uh, Nokia Android device. So there are three devices. You get the Nokia X, which is the base model, and then you get the X Plus uh, that comes with more memory. And then you get the XL, which comes with the larger screen. So in terms of specifications, the XL comes with a 5-inch WVGA display, uh, 768 megs of RAM, 1 gigahertz, dual core processor and 4 gigs of onboard storage. The storage is expandable with a micro SD card um, and you have a free cloud storage with 7 gigs. Okay, so let's look at the operating system. So this is this is this is new from Nokia. Officially it's called the Nokia X software platform. But essentially it's uh, Android underneath with a very different skin. So at, at first glance, it looks like Lumia, uh, but it's not. And if you're from Android and you're expecting an Android experience, it's different as well. Uh, it's a mishmash. You can see the customized Nokia icons look standardized right up there. But when you go into applications, they look completely different. Talking about applications, you can go into the App Store. So this is a custom App Store. Right, it's not online right now. But this is the custom App Store that you can get uh, applications for this device. So what's different from an Android App Store is that the applications that run on this device runs on Nokia's API. So if you if you want to run maps, you got to run Nokia's uh, Nokia's map. You can't run Google Map on this because it runs on Google's API. Uh, other Google services like maybe Hangout or Gmail might not work as well. Uh, so it's a mishmash. Obviously, you can inside load applications or you can just download ap APKs uh, into the device. But we're we're not really sure right now if it will work 100%. All right. Okay. So that's pretty much it in terms of software, hardware. There's a two meg uh, two megapixel front camera, and then there's a. 5 megapixel rear camera, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, speaker, micro USB, uh, power and data slot. Okay, so the phone is pretty basic. This is this will sit below the Lumia range, so this will be targeted for entry level or emerging markets. It's it's different. Uh, if you want to compare this to Android devices uh, with the same price range, we're not sure whether this is convinc convincing enough. Um, again, it looks like a mishmash. If you can see here, these are the Nokia customized icons and these are the application icons. Right, speaking, about, uh, speaking of icons, you can move them around just like Nokia, but as you can see, there is some lag. The sizes are customizable. Well, you have two sizes, one big and one small. Uh, and that's pretty much it. You also have widgets. But again, when you go into the widget menu, you can see it's not standardized across. Okay. So that's a quick look at the Nokia XL. There's also, there's also the Nokia X and then the X Plus. Essentially, in terms of hardware, all three devices are the same. Uh, the XL and X Plus has more RAM. The XL has bigger screen. And that's pretty much it. All devices have dual SIM and will be available in Malaysia later this year. That's pretty much it from SoyChinchow.com. As always, thanks very much for liking the video. Thanks very much for subscribing to our channel. And thanks very much for watching the video. This is SoyChinchow.com. Catch you guys.